Back in 2015, NASA uploaded around 13,000 Apollo photographs online, but it didn't take long for amateur researchers to find some interesting anomalies in these photographs. One photograph that got shared on various websites was this one that was taken back in 1972. The photo in question was taken during Apollo 17, and shows the moon's surface nearby hills in the backdrop of space. However, when online users zoomed in to one section of the photograph, they discovered some strange looking lines. Amateur researchers who first saw these said the lights in question were clearly in the shape of a triangle, and since being shared, various UFO researchers came out and suggested that NASA was being watched while on the moon. The lights can be seen in the top right hand corner of the photograph, and when you zoom in you can see that the lights were blue in colour, and in the shape of a triangle. UFO researchers have long said that strange triangle shaped crafts have been witnessed by humans for decades. However, amateur researchers that have looked into the phenomena have said this has been going on for a long time, saying that various photographs exist that show these strange triangle shaped crafts. 99% of the photographs shared though show these objects on Earth, so how do you explain this object hovering above the moon? One believer said the following, UFO researchers have done some incredible work in recent years, and this is one of the gems that's been discovered in some of the older NASA photographs that's been shared. There's no denying that this object is clearly triangular in shape, Whatever this thing is, it matches the very same objects that are seen on our planet. End quote. Other researchers who have spent countless hours looking at old NASA photographs have said this is some of the best proof we have of these crafts on the moon, and go on to say that usually NASA edits out these objects in their images, but in this case they likely forgot. This is one of the reasons why UFO researchers say the International Space Station is one of the best places to see UFOs, because it's really hard for NASA to edit out these crafts that come into the camera's view, so what they do is shut off the live cams claiming that the signal got dropped. Skeptics though don't buy into the idea that UFOs can be seen above the moon, and close to the International Space Station, instead they say the majority of these lights can be easily explained and that what people are seeing is things like lens flares and other debris that make their way in front of their cameras. Even NASA themselves have said these objects that people call UFOs are just space debris, and when they get up close to their cameras they can take on the appearance of a UFO. Interestingly though, black triangles aren't anything new. Black triangle UFOs are a type of craft that have been seen in our sky for years now, and after years of research, the most likely answer is that these crafts belong to the military. However, even though some believe that it's our military that owns these crafts, there's still many unanswered questions. For example, how they're able to travel at the speeds they do, how they're able to use camouflage tag, and how they can hover motionless without making a sound. It's these questions that have led some to say that these crafts don't belong to us. After all, we currently don't have any aircraft that's able to match what these crafts do. These black triangles are hundreds of years more advanced than our current tank. So where did these things come from? And how are they able to achieve what they do? At this moment in time, no military has come forward to claim that it's them who's behind these sightings. But most UFO researchers think these black triangles are part of a secret program. And this is their latest creation. However, sightings and encounters have gone against this, saying that these crafts have been observed in our skies for decades. In fact, there's even photographs of these triangles that were taken above Italy in 1945, so that means these black triangles are over 80 years old. How did we have this type of tech during a time when battles were taking place using basic aeroplanes? As mentioned, it's one of the reasons that UFO researchers believe these things don't belong to us. In fact, even military officials would come forward in detail their encounter with them, demanding an answer for what they encountered in the sky. Many of these eyewitnesses would say these triangle objects seem interested in their crafts. Then when they tried to get closer, they suddenly vanished, easily being much faster than the planes during those times. 
Interestingly, this led to these objects being given the name of Foo Fighters. Strange technological advances were witnessed by United States airmen that claimed to have witnessed countless encounters with unidentified flying objects. Described as cigar-shaped rocket-like crafts and dark triangles on the late November evening back in 1944, the 415th Night Fighter Squadron reported a number of peculiar lines, and this happened along the Rhine Valley Ridge. As the Night Fighter Squadron turned to attack the craft, the lights faded and appeared to have disappeared from the region entirely. This was one of a countless number of military reports that described similar-looking unidentified flying objects, with one of the strangest reports being the witness account of Lieutenant Samuel A. Cransley. According to Cransley's report, as he was flying he noticed a large wingless cigar-shaped object with a reddish glow, floating alongside him just a few yards away, seemingly attached by an invisible wire, which maintained a perfect distance and speed. Cransney went into invasive manoeuvres, and rolled the plane while dropping down to get away from the craft, only to witness the cigar-shaped object follow his manoeuvres perfectly, and maintain its position relative to his aeroplane. After several minutes of additional manoeuvres, Cransley said the object suddenly faded in colour, and shot off at an incredible speed. So it seems that these strange triangle-shaped crafts aren't anything new and have been sighted by people for at least the last 70 years. So what do you make of the reports that UFOs have been seen hovering above the moon? Do you think these objects are UFOs? Or just things like space debris that's being misidentified? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.